One of the things that we introduced is an Earthworks toolkit. And so to be able to complement the precision GPS capabilities that we've introduced into the market with the drone, we now have an entire suite of cloud-based applications that are enabling the Earthworks, the grading, the leveling, the topological analysis to be now measured and understood and managed directly inside of our cloud infrastructure. So that was actually a more recent addition to okay. the Casper Cloud as of the last six months. So to do what that those cloud uh, software systems uh, do now, to do that, those in the past, that would have taken another application? Or? Correct, yeah. Okay. It's getting more and more capabilities. For instance, like we introduced uh, the ability to now do overlays, right? So you can take your vector PDF files, bring those directly into Casper and have an overlay of what your project plan and your, your construction plan look like from a 3D standpoint and be able to overlay that directly okay. on top of the Casper cloud infrastructure. So see what the target is in Correct. 3D using the using the imagery that uh, software that you have so that, that a, a user, I assume, down to the, the operator can, can see yeah, those Yeah, your those 3D model, your CAD models are now okay. easily incorporated back into the current state of that work site. Okay, all right. And part of those capabilities, those capabilities of the software is, is generating those models that a, a grade control system exactly. can, can follow. So that, because that was a big question with, with GPS grade control for a long time, yeah. is who, where one, are the models come And from? one of the things that we've made very easy now is to be able to export the capabilities in terms of the Casper Cloud and the data that's coming off of the Casper Cloud um, is now easily exportable so you can get that information directly into the places that you want to bring that for exactly this kind of decision making. Yeah, okay, all right. What do you see as the future? Where do you see this going? Is there? Are we going to be building digital twins of our, our project sites and following it uh, through updates from drone flights? Yeah, I mean, I think this is exactly the future of this kind of industrial work. If you think about the use of a drone, we now know that the ability to collect this data on a safe, reliable basis, you can get several hundred thousands of points of measurement versus taking a precision laser piece of equipment for you know being able to get you know coordinate systems um, exacted or being able to take a GPS backpack and get 20 30 points of measurement so the amount of data that we're now collecting on a consistent reliable basis is pretty impressive now the models that are now being able to be created from that data gives you to your point that ability Larry to have those digital twins mm -hmm. be part of the work day you can now have a very accurate view three-dimensionally of how, what that work site looks like you can now take that information push that directly into your smart dozers for instance so that you can grade and level properly and you know that the GPS coordinate data is actually being delivered very accurately to the smart dozer itself and you almost see this digitization of the work site continuing to evolve where the digital twin continues to provide insights and for the person on the ground as well as the person that might be the analyst away from the work site itself. But you're having a continuous amount of information that continues to drive decision making across the organization. So the so the person at the in the, the analyst, if you will, uh, to use your word, the person in the in the office who's got the three, the thirty thousand foot view of the project and its profitability and its in its on time delivery is also working with that sort of on the ground knowledge that operators and foremen and that sort of thing have. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's to have that information not only at the work site itself, but at the analyst and the operations level yeah. inside of these larger construction firms that have multiple projects that are effectively going on. Mm -hmm. To have that synchronized in a, a very natural way, literally down to the day of that drone flying, mm -hmm. giving you that level of insight as the work site continues to change is quite unprecedented. Because usually surveys are being done yeah. at the beginning, middle, and end of a project sure. as opposed to having this continuous amount of data that's available to the construction firms that we work with. And like so many things, I'm assuming that uh, so many things in the in digital world and in, in, in construction is what we're finding is, is the more often you have accurate data, the, the more flexible you can be and the uh, more control you can have over your profitability. Correct. And the better decision making you can have when changes invariably occur on the work side.